Hi, I'm Dave. Lance and I go way back, from the Olympics in 96 to the postal and discovery days, and now we do. After close to 20 years on the road, we thought it would be fun to take a look behind the curtain. We'll share some tips and tricks on the bike, talk to a few people I've met along the way, and who knows what else. I'm totally making this up as I go. All right, so today I want to talk a little bit about uh, food on the bike. Um, over the years, working with the national team and Postal and Saturn, Discovery, whoever, we always had a lot of sponsors. We always sponsored food, but let's face it, if you ride your bike enough, you're going to get tired of whatever's in that little package, and you might want to make something out of your own kitchen. So it's pretty easy to do. Most swanniers know this. Actually, this is a, a really good book that came along a little bit later all these tabs in it i'm pretty sure this is my friend's book mc from from canada uh, but a lot of great ideas in here like i said came along way too late for me um, one of the first things we ever did um, on a team is we would just take simple bread rolls like this these king's hawaiian rolls are great because they're kind of sweet they're really soft and they're pre-sliced so doesn't really Whoa, they're not pre-sliced. They're flicking me. Kings of Hawaiian Rolls are flicking me. All right, whatever. That's not a problem. I can cut these. This is not a big deal. I've got this old knife I've carried around. I got it in Germany a long time ago, probably with the national team. Um, one of the first ones that's kind of good, surprisingly good, that people like is turkey and cream cheese. I've never ridden with this on the bike because I just can't imagine, I just can't imagine eating cream cheese on the bike. A lot of the riders though, love it. And I've actually tried it in the feed zone and it's really good. So take a little bit of cream cheese, slice your roll, take about a half of uh, turkey, get a good turkey, get something like smoked, something nice from the deli and just make a little sandwich. Okay, we'll set that aside. And then if you're lucky enough, like I am, I've still got a lot of this leftover paper from Europe. And we use this, you know, training camps. We used it at the race. Um, but take your take your roll. I always, you notice I put a little, a little uh, fold at the top. Take it, fold it. These are just a little bit on the big side. Squish them down, push down with your fingers, fold, fold the second time, boom. You can put that in your jersey pocket. It's pretty easy to eat. You got this little tab to grab when you pull it out of your jersey pocket and it's easy. So um, the next thing we used to make a lot was, um, let me get a paper towel. Don't want to get cream cheese in my Nutella. So the next thing we used to make quite a lot, and we still do, like if if we do Leadville or we do some other event where, you know, we got guys and gals out on the course for a long time, um, this, is, this is kind of a favorite. So this is my special banana slicing technique. I slice it like that. I slice it. And I really only do this because when you're making about 60 of these, it's a lot easier to grab it, unroll it, pull your banana out, put it on. So for now, we're gonna leave that there. Get a little bit of Nutella. Got this bad boy sliced open. I usually just take about yay much on the back. You could do more if you want. You can slide it around. You can even kinda do that a little bit. Take a nice good chunk of banana, put it right in the middle. Squish it. It's gonna make a mess, I promise. That's okay, you can eat your mistakes, it's not a big deal. But, um, it's gonna make a mess. So, don't worry about it. Take your wrapping paper, same thing. Always do my little folded edge. And then I'm gonna wipe that up so I don't get it on the outside. Move that over. Got your fold, wrap. Wrap, give it a little squish together, and then down, down. You might want to label these. We used to, with the team, we would put um, 
you know, we would make 15 or 18 um, savory with either uh, cheese or, you know, turkey, whatever the riders were into at the time. And then we'd make some sweet ones because you don't want everything on the bike to be sweet. Um, it's just kind of a, you get really tired of that. One thing, speaking of uh, my friends in Canada, I learned this in Canada, and this is one of my favorites. Go get yourself a nice pack of Medjool dates, and I think whenever it's a colder climate, people get more creative on what they want to eat. Slice these bad boys open, pull the pit out, slice, slice, pit, pit. Take a really nice peanut butter. I like one, I like a crunchy. Get a little crunchy peanut butter. Doesn't take a lot. You can do almond butter too. Fill that bad boy with a little bit of peanut buttery goodness. Um, I've got this other little wrapping paper. I think this one definitely came from Spain. I think the other one's from Belgium. It's a little bit smaller, works, works a little better for stuff like this. Um, same thing, just wrap. Wrap it up, take it with you. And those are fantastic. All right, I think that's a wrap. Mm -hmm.